Hi, and welcome. Um, today we're going to be talking about understanding your liver enzyme test uh, results. Um, my name is Vicki Shaw. I'm a physician assistant at Rush University with the hepatology team. Um, and we are providing this um, through the American Liver Foundation. Uh, today we're going to go over some basic stuff about your liver enzyme tests. Uh, please remember that um, to always go over your blood results with your provider. And uh, we're only going to go over some common diseases and um, some more common elevations of liver enzymes. But please note that there are rare diseases and other explanations uh, for liver enzymes to be elevated. Um, so this is just a little bit of a basic knowledge. Um, so uh, liver enzymes uh, are done through blood work and they're usually included in what is called the complete metabolic panel or hepatic function panel. Hepatic means liver. Um, and so these liver enzymes are included and they can be included um, on your routinely um, screening blood tests that you might get with your physical exam. Um, but sometimes you will find abnormal liver enzyme tests uh, in patients with no symptoms because it's part of their screening test. Um, but understand that liver enzymes can be normal in patients with liver disease or also abnormal in patients with a healthy liver. So making sure you go over the results with your provider. So the first, there's three liver enzyme tests. The first one we're gonna go over is called ALT, alanine aminotransferase. It's predominantly made in the liver and normal range on the blood test for a male will be 10 to 55. But understand that actually normal levels for a male would be no higher than 30, even though the range goes up to 55. For a female, the normal range is seven to 30, but also with females, the high normal that we prefer is only 20. So even if your numbers are with normal range, they might actually still be a little elevated. The next liver enzyme test is called AST aspartate aminotransferase. And this one is made in the liver, but also in other areas in the body, including the heart muscle, our regular muscles um, that help us move, kidney, and brain. And so if you see an elevation of the AST without ALT, you might consider that enzyme might be coming from other areas in the body. And the normal range for males is 10 to 40, and for females, 9 to 32. But again, we do prefer lower numbers than that to be considered normal. So for a male, 30, and for a female, 20. So the last liver enzyme is called alkaline phosphatase. Um, this comes from the liver and bones. And so we always want to make sure that there's not a bone condition going on, especially if the other two liver enzymes are normal. Um, so that could be an indicative of a bone disease. For males, the normal range is 45 to 115, and for females, it's 30 to 100. This is also based on age. Someone, a child who is growing and building their bones might actually have a high alkaline phosphatase because they're growing their bones. Someone also who breaks their arm, those numbers, the alkaline phosphatase might be high when they're starting to um, heal their bones. So please note that there's other reasons alkaline phosphatase can be elevated. So let's talk about different types of elevations. Um, when we look at your at the blood work, if the first two, the AST and ALT, are significantly higher than the alkaline phosphatase, it is likely called hepatocellular um, damage. That means that it's actually coming from the cells of the liver. Um, so if the AST are higher than the alkaline phosphatase, we think that the damage is coming directly from the cells of the liver. If 
alkaline phosphatase is significantly higher than the AST and ALT, and there's no bone association, we can consider that a type of cholestasis elevation. What is cholestasis? That means that the, the ducts where the bile is made and released, there is some impingement on that plumbing system that cause it to stop the bile. So coli is bile and stasis is stop. When that happens, you're gonna see an increase of the alkaline phosphatase in addition to another blood test called bilirubin. Um, and so there's two types of more common patterns depending on which are more elevated than the others. So hepatocellular versus cholestasis. And that's how your provider can determine um, what's the likely cause of your elevations. A very common disease process that we might see um, that we can usually determine quickly on blood tests is if the AST, if you look at the ratio of AST to ALT, and AST is two times greater than ALT, this is likely coming from alcoholic liver disease. This is most of the time, but of course there could be other reasons. So if we look at specific liver disease correlations with elevations, we just talked about alcoholic liver disease process. So um, usually we see that the AST is much higher than the ALT, but about less than 10 times above the normal limits, the upper uh, normal limits. ALT is usually less than five times the, um, the upper limits of normal. In non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or fatty liver disease or um, NAFLD, those are the other terms for that, um, AST and ALT are usually could be normal or up to less than four times the upper limits of normal. So they're not that high. When we discuss more um, liver disease processes that can cause uh, more acute pictures or a short-term injury, acute viral hepatitis or toxin-related hepatitis with jaundice or yellowing of the skin and eyes, we see liver enzymes to be very high with AST and ALT to be greater than 25 times the upper limits of normal. Another one is ischemic hepatitis. Ischemic means the lack of blood to the liver that causes inflammation. And there's different types of ischemic hepatitis, and these numbers are very high, with AST and ALT greater than 50 times above the upper uh, normal limits. And so you have to think when the numbers are very high, there could be a more injury going on on a short term on the liver. I went too quick. In chronic hepatitis, um, we usually can see normal liver enzymes, usually less than two times the upper limits of normal, and rarely seen to be elevated higher than that. In chronic hepatitis B infection, the numbers can be normal, but usually there's mild to moderate elevations of the liver enzymes. And these are approximately two times above the upper limits of normal. Interesting thing with hepatitis B is that that can be reactivated or cause exacerbations and the levels can jump up significantly more, more than 10 times above normal um, value. So this is an overall um, just information about elevations. These are some of the papers that have been well written in the past that I referred to. Um, but very basic information of the three different type of liver enzymes and very common disease process and how that makes those elevations look like on paper. And again, if you have any questions on your blood work, please refer to your primary provider um, or even your specialist. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day.